Hey everyone, um, it's been a while since I posted a video, um, but I'm here to talk about my fire eel and African cichlid tank and that they um, can coexist, um, but I'll go into more details with that. Let me show you the tank. Okay, here is my tank. It's a 125 gallon um, African cichlid tank. Uh, majority peacock cichlids. I do have some mabuna in here and some other types of cichlids as well. But I won't get into that right now. I'm just going to talk about my fire eel mostly um, in this video. Um, so here's my fire eel. Wait, that's my... Get out of the way. Uh, her name's B. She's an, she's an erotic cichlid. Um, but here's my fire eel. Um, I bought him. He was about 14 inches. He's probably about 26 inches now. Um, so I re the reason why I bought him at that size, though, is that... Make sure that your fire eel is definitely larger than your cichlids in your tank. Especially if you have African cichlids. Um, when I bought him at that size, they didn't they didn't bother him at all. And he kind of just went into his hiding spot and he's been good ever since. Um, they don't really mess with each other and um, they kind of um, just do their own thing. So, um, also... Make sure your tank size is big enough to hold a fire eel. I'd recommend um, a, at least a 75 gallon, but hopefully larger, but at least because they grow to be about three feet in length. So um, even my tank might be a little small when he gets, when she gets, or he or she gets full grown. Um, so just keep it, that in mind. Um, also, uh, feeding. They, my fire eel loves frozen bloodworms, and I feed him frozen bloodworms only. He's very picky, he only eats that. I tried other things, and he, I can't shake him, but eventually when he gets um, a little bigger, I might try some frozen tilapia and frozen shrimp, um, but until then, he does good with bloodworms. And also, when they get com comfortable with you, they'll actually want to be hand-fed, so you just, you know, they come to the top of the tank when you're feeding, and you would just, you know, hand-feed them. Sometimes I lower them their their his I lower them their food because um, these cichlids are fast and they will try to steal the bloodworms from him. So if I lower him the food, um, that way he can just pull it pull it out, out of the net and take it into his lair, and that way the fish can't really get it from him. So that's a really helpful tip. Um, I just want to show you some of the fish in here. A lot of them, they go to that side because they think I'm going to feed them. So they kind of stay over there. Um, but I think I got their mating here. Um, I guess I had a female. I didn't really want females, but that's pretty cool to see. Um, but yeah, make sh also make sure that they have a lot of hiding spaces. Um, it works both ways because cichlids like hiding spaces and little things to swim through as well. So make sure they're large enough for the fire eel to have a couple of choices um, in what he wants to hide in. So, so yeah, I think I'm gonna with that I'm gonna conclude my video. Um, again, it's a 125 gallon tank. Um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Or if I miss something, um, if you want to ask me something. Uh, let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, and thanks for watching.